I want to talk about this movie called The Laughing Woman. I should have did it earlier, but I was putting it off. So The Laughing Woman, female reading, The Frightened Woman, it goes by many titles, but this 1960s movie right here, it's very entertaining, very telltale on what we see in nowadays with the youth and dating dynamics and the whole structure of urbanization, social media, and the relationships that men and women are going through right now, where the sadist Dr. Sawyer, played by Felipe uh, Leroy, he was almost Christian Grey-esque, but he had the receding hairline, so I mean, he looked good at his age, but he didn't have that youth factor on him, and then we got the female that was the damsel that later turned up to being the one that gave him his cup up, it's being Mary. Very crazy name for her to be married, but okay. And we see just everything spiral and everything that he was talking about as a man and being against women and everything. He falls into the trap of just being what some would say uh, gullible. You can't say that word anymore. You can't say it's I am a P and all that. You can't say that anymore. So this movie right here is very interesting movie. And what highlights it for me and even got me interested in this movie was the score done by Stelvio Caprini or Capriani. Hopefully I'm saying that right, Stelvio Capriani. This movie right here is very, very artistic, very avant-garde. I usually mess with films like that anyway, so this right here, I felt in my realm with it. Keeping my personal excitement and experiences with this film out the way this movie is a solid the way they were just handling everything and talking about things that we see nowadays it's ridiculous like the man going towards the legs the metaphor just men and their nature going for the women that they know or at least have a feeling could betray them not all women obviously obviously but this movie this guy only went for like certain bras that he could victimize but later falls for one and she ends up just turning the tide on him. This film was very ahead of its time. I don't know how many times I have said it or I'm going to say it, but this is a definite must-watch film right here. It's foreign. It has many different titles. And we've all heard that women have a little black book or an anime world, the Death Note. But this right here in this movie, I don't want to say too much, but Bride just legitimately had a body book. A book of all the bodies. If they ever made this a series, it needs to be Italian because only they seem to have the nerve and the energy to just make something different. Like, it's very memorable scenes in this movie. Them just running through the flowers and they had Mary's theme playing. The scene with them being in the swimming pool. Let me see if I can go back to that. The scene with them being in the swimming pool and just the fight for love. Stelvio, Stelvio, I hope I'm saying it right. Stelvio. Caparini's music that I was playing in that whole background, classic, classic, like a whole Western where who's going to pull their gun out first? Will you pull your gun out or will I pull my gun out? This scene was phenomenal. This scene and the scene where they was running through the flowers where she had like the short hair and all that. Both of those scenes right there is like scenes where you make memes out of those and it goes down forever in time. Be like, where did this come from? What is this? Just The movie is a whole bar. So I cannot say enough that people need to watch this movie and how much this is a good 7 out of 10 for me. It could be more. It could be less than someone else's uh, rating. But 7 out of 10.